Claudia. Hello. Welcome to the Geeky Girls Knit Podcast. I'm Cece, also known as Java Pearl. I'm Dammy, also known as Dammy's Doodles. And we're glad to have you today. Today is Wednesday, the 27th of June, 2018. And what is it? What is it? It's our 300th episode. Wow. Who would have imagined when we started this podcast almost six years ago? Do you have to bring that up every time? That we would hit 300. <laughs> So before we get into our normal stuff, we're doing a special, special 300th episode photo challenge giveaway thing. Yay! So what you need to do is take a picture of how you're celebrating our 300th episode with us. You can like post a picture of like the project that you're working on. You can take a picture of where you're watching the podcast. You can take a picture of your cat watching the podcast. Oh, or your child watching the podcast. Or your cat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or... You can just be really creative, however you want to do it. How are you celebrating our 300th episode with us? Um, you need to post it on Instagram, and you need to make sure in the caption you use hashtag GGKEP300. So Geeky Girls Knit Episode 300. GGKEP300. If you have a private Instagram account, you need to make sure that I... CC underscore Almond, A L M O N, is um, that I'm following you because if you're private, I can't see your photos unless I'm following you. And then next week, Wednesday, the 4th of July, 2018, wow. when we sit down to record the podcast, we will ran, do random number generator and randomly choose. Um, I'm not sure how many prizes we're going to do yet. Some number of prizes. Some number of people to win some number of prizes. So you have one week only for the time this goes live because on Wednesday, the 4th of July is when we will draw for winners. So again, take a photo of how you're celebrating 300 with us, post it on Instagram, make sure you use hashtag GGKEP300. If you're private, make sure I'm following you, CC underscore Almond, and you might be a winner. Yay. Okay. So now to our normal stuff. We'd like to say a big welcome back. We love you guys. We To all our returning viewers. And a big hi to any new viewers. Thanks for giving us a shot. We hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, I mean, nobody introduced themselves this week. Why? Oh, no. what, what should people do and why? You should join our group on Ravelry and introduce yourself in our introductions thread because you'll get a shout out on our next episode and be able to participate in all our owls and giveaways. That's right. Well, we have several things to talk about today. We have some FOs and some yummies and all kinds of good stuff. So we probably should get started. Here we go. So now we're going to talk about what is on our needles. What's on your needles, Dammy? I'm currently on my second of the Rusty Gate socks, which is, I'm using the French Mail Cappuccino socks pattern by someone. I'm on US 1.5, 2.5 millimeters, and the yarn is Sarah's Texture Crafts Donegal 4 ply in the Rusty Gate colorway. I'm literally almost done with the heel, and then I'll just be moving on to the leg, which won't take long at all. So Good. I'm almost done with these, and then I need to figure out what exactly I'm doing next, to like Hades okay. Town or another sock project or something. So. Okay. Um, will you tell them what hat you're wearing because somebody's going to ask otherwise? Oh. So this pattern is the Precipitation by Tin Can Knits. You made it for me for my birthday. Christmas. Christmas birthday. Something? Something. I don't know. While we were in Scotland. I don't know what the yarn is, so I can't. I don't know either, but that's, that's what the pattern. Pretty. It is pretty. It's very pretty. Okay. Are you working so on anything else? So that's all I'm working on. <laughs> what are you working on? Um, okay, so I have three things <laughs> on the needles right now. First up is my zigzag blanket. This is the 10 Stitch Zigzag Pattern by Frankie Brown. I'm on US 4's 3.5 mil needles. Um, I finished the stripe that was the the one that you you told them the chai latte one. Round table yarns, Merlin self striping in the Archimedes colorway. Okay, I finished that stripe and then I pulled out the name of the other yarn because finally I have it. Couldn't remember it all. This is Premier Yarns Deborah Norville Serenity Sock Weight Prints in the chili colorway. Chili. 
It doesn't. It's not. It's Chili. Is this that pink one? N no. That was also named Chili? This is not the red and blue and yellow one that's named Raspberry. No. This this is a green and pink and blue. You can you can look in there. I'll look there. It's variegated. Interesting. Yeah. I need something out of it, and they took somebody recognized it because I didn't know what it was, <laughs> and so so actually several people recognized it and told me here on the podcast. Um, so that I'm working on that. And then I'm working on a second pair of baby chino socks for our friends in Scotland, Daniel and Rebecca, that are having their baby girl at the end of the summer. This is the baby chino sock pattern by Dammy. This is on US 3's 3.25 mil needles, and I'm using Bernay Softy Baby in the pink rainbow colorway. So sock number one is done. Wow. So cute. And I'm working on the leg of sock number two. You like knit all of sock number one. I did knit all of sock number one. We'll tell you about where we went, but I knit the whole thing in one night. Um, so, almost done with this one, and then I think I have one more pair of, of baby chino socks. Wait, I have my paper. Yes. So that's Your the... paper's falling apart. Um, yes, I have one more pair of baby chino socks in this same colorway. And then I need to knit a baby vertebrae in this colorway and a baby sophisticate in this colorway to finish up for Daniel and Rebecca and to finish up for my friend Melissa's baby Clara. And then I'll be done with baby knitting for a while. Ever? No, for a little while. <laughs> the next baby that I know is coming that I'm knitting for is not due until December. So, um, yeah. So finish I'm, the heel. Yay. And then the third thing I'm working on, I can't show you the exactly. pattern, but I can show you the yarn because it's not a secret. So, and this has been frogged so many times, but I think I finally got it down. Oh gosh, you guys. I, okay, well, let me tell you what it is. It's a currently unnamed cow. So this is a new design project that I'm working on. I'm so wonderful. I'm on US 4, 3.5 mil needles, and the yarn is Black Trillium Fiber Studio Lilt Sock in the ablaze colorway and it's a lot brighter it's like the same color as your hair yeah pretty much that and then i'm also using the um lilt sock gradient set in the crater colorway and so it goes from a black it's five colors all the way down to a pale gray and um so i finally figured out i i, I had tried several different things and couldn't make it come out the way I wanted to. And then finally I had this inspiration and I was like, oh, this is great, this is gonna work. So I spent hours yesterday knitting on it, hours. And then last night we were watching Elementary, Elementary and I went, oh no, crap. And you and daddy were like, what? And I was like, I mathed wrong. So I have 100 grams of the of the full skein and I have about about 33 grams of each of the um, gradient skeins and so I had done math to figure out like what ratio I needed to use to try to make the most of all the yarn, and then I accidentally flip-flopped it. So, I frogged all my work yeah, from yesterday, and recast it on, and got just a little ways in. So, fingers crossed that this is going to work this time. Because I loved how the design was coming out, if with all the knitting I was doing yesterday, I just need to flip-flop the colors. <sighs> My brain, my brain is just like, Cece, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. So I'm working on that. And so that's going to be something that I'll be working on secretly for the next little bit. Um, and then I need to coordinate with like Trillium for when it's going to release. This is their 10th anniversary um, year. <clears throat> um, and so I'm doing a design for them mm -hmm. as well as some other people are as well. So. 
that's everything that is currently on my needles. So I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. And now we're going to talk about our finished project. So what did you finish this week? I finished something. I Yay. finished the baby chino socks that I was working on for a baby, a co-worker's baby soon to be born. Okay. I was calling him Baby Elvis, but I figured out that they're actually naming him Finn. Okay. But I like Elvis better. Because they got married by Elvis. By Elvis in Las Vegas. <laughs> it's really cute. We have a photo of them up in the restaurant with Elvis. Aww. Um, so I was using my Baby Chino socks pattern on US 3s, 3.25 millimeters, and the yarn I used was Bernays Softy Baby in the Baby Baby colorway. And I didn't have enough time to finish another pair in the Prince Pebbles colorway, but I'm going to make that for her closer to when the baby is due. She's due in the middle of August. Okay. So I still got the yarn. So that would that'll be what you work on after you finish that then? Yeah, probably. Okay. So yeah, and the picture's on the screen because she got the hat and the socks this weekend. So what did she think? She thought it was adorable and everyone else thought it was adorable too. Aww. And people were like, did you make that? I said, yeah, I made that. Were they impressed? Yes. Because you're awesome. Sure. Did you tell them I designed this sock pattern? No. I would have been I like. I don't like to brag. If I had been there, I would have bragged it for you. No. Because you're awesome. No. Okay. Yes, you are. What did you finish? Okay, wow. I've, I finished three things this week. First up, I finished the second pair of socks for our friend Mel, who did the photo shoot for our Tickled Pink book. I've already given them to her, that's why they're on the screen. Um, this was my French Vanilla Cappuccino sock pattern on US 1.5, 2.5 mil needles, and this was Patton's Croy socks in the Cascade Colors colorway. And she was very excited and loved them, so that made her happy. Um, How many more pairs for her? One more. And it's that um, like rainbowy kind of colors. Mm. You know what I'm talking about. So I need to do that too. And then I finished the first pair of baby chino socks for our friends Daniel and Rebecca in Scotland. Wow. Um, this again is Dammy's baby chino sock pattern on US 3, 3.25 mil needles. And this is Renee Softy Baby in the Princess Pebble colorway. They're so cute. I don't know why I haven't been putting them this way to take photos because they're cuter that way. You know, look at the little heels. Look at them. Impractical, kind of, but adorable. Tiny, tiny, so <laughs> they're so cute. And then I finished this week's preemie hat. This is number 25 for the year. This is from my free top-down preemie hat pattern on Ravelry on US 6's 4 mil needles. And I used Knit Picks palette in the white colorway, Suburban Citrus Sock in the bashful colorway, and Seven Sisters Arts Matrika in the pink pearl colorway. So the white and the bashful are in, held together in the pom-pom and in the stripe and then the mm. pink pearl colorway is held doubled for the rest of the hat pink pearl except for this was named pink pearl p-e-a-r-l before pink we even pearl. got pink pearl the cat which is spelled p-u-r-l she's in my window she is so let's see where does that put me for stash dash i am currently sitting at exactly 2470 meters of yarn finished i hear a jingle I did too. So exactly 2,470. Uh, I've got these socks on the needles right now. I have the cowl that I've started. I have the, I've got another pair of baby chino socks to do. I've got two sweater, baby sweaters to do. I finally got the measurements from my mama for my niece and nephew's uh, head size for their birthday hats. So I need to get at least my nieces on the needles because her birthday is first and then the boys are not until December. But I try to get them all done at once and ship them to my mama and then she hands them out. Um, Pink has come to investigate, investigate the other side of the apartment. Yes. You're a little bit late. You didn't attack the bird. You'll see, the, you'll see this at the end of the episode, I'm the whole situation about the bird. Birds. So finished exactly 2,470 meters. Um, so to reach my 7,000 goal, I need to knit 4,530 more meters. 
but the so the cowl yeah, I don't know if it says meters on the label if it just says yards 370 meters for the main it says yards no I need meters oh. 3,000 not 3,000 370 wow. meters for the main and then these are each of the gradient are 135 yards each so I don't know how many that is in meters but that should be a good chunk right there with for the with the cowl um, yeah so we'll see if I hit it mm -hmm. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try we'll see what happens there's been all these baby knits <laughs> that are small amounts of meters each so, babies are small they are so okay and that's everything i finished this week and my stash dash updates so we should move on to the next segment and now it's time for our favorite part of the show yummies what are yummies yummy yummies are our current favorite things things we like things we want to talk to you about yummies have you taken your 300th episode picture yet? Don't forget, you could win a prize. Okay, so I got a parcel this week in the post from Julia, who is Nimrus on Ravelry of Pandia's Jewels. And in that post parcel was something I can't show you. <laughs> because. But also these. Hold on. I'm going to kind of, I'm, 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 I'm plugging this a little bit. Oh, okay. Julia and I are working together to create a fourth season of Outlander. A fourth season of Outlander, you're creating it? The pattern oh. and yarn. And so she sent me the yarn, and it's gorgeous, and I can't show you because it's a secret. So be watching in days ahead for announcements about that. Um, I need to get this cowl designed so I can get started on that. But she also sent Dammy and I these adorable floral sheet, floral sheet badges. badges. So this is something she drew. I don't know if it's... What? What? It Girlfriend. went on the floor. Well. So this is okay. something she drew. It's really, really pretty. So yay. So we're going to put those yep. in places. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put mine on my bulletin board. Yeah. So thank you so much to Julia for that. Mm -hmm. Dammy, you got something in the post this week. Yeah. I got it. I'm very excited about it because they're so cute. I'm like starting a little Hunchback of Notre Dame collection. If you have any... um. Hunchback of Notre Dame merchandise. You don't want. Send it my way. I will take it off your hands. Why are you? No! Dang it. He came off. Okay, well, why don't you, while Hold you're on. doing that, yeah. why don't you tell us what it is? So, <laughs> these are little keychain figurines from blind bags that Disney has been doing of, like, some of their most, like, like, most of their animated characters mm -hmm. so these are from season 15 and I got them off Mercari from someone who had already opened the blind bags and so they could sell them not just as bags so I got Quasimodo and Esmeralda and look at them they're very they're cute so cute they're very cute look 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 they're adorable they're so cute. Oh! Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I love them. Okay, and then on Sunday <laughs> night, we went with our friend Janine um, to Downpour Brewery in Kingston yes. for a Harry Potter 21st anniversary event. Mm -hmm. And they had lots of amazing food options, and they had butterbeer on tap, both alcoholic and non alcoholic. And as well as all the other stuff that they normally have on tap. I had a nice cider. Um, but... You didn't try the butterbeer? I tried... Yes, I had a sip of Janine's butterbeer. Uh, and then I had a sip of your non-alcoholic butterbeer. There was a costume contest. Dammy dressed up as Luna. Love good. You'll see... More or less. You'll see in GGK Crafty Pad a photo of her in costume. As she's cosplaying. Um, but then we also participated in a trivia contest mm -hmm. and thankfully Janine had a friend who joined us and then she had friends that joined us and this one girl, she was intense, but she knew her Harry Potter trivia. We missed two questions out of all 30, 30 
And one of the <clears> questions <throat> we had right, and then she second guessed herself, and we changed it. Uh -huh. But we won. We won. And so there was. They gave us four prizes to divvy out. Four prizes? There, there was, was four, three. No, but there was a gift card as well. Oh, yeah. There so was four prizes to divvy out among eight people. <laughs> no, seven people. It was eight. There was four people on, on each side of the Our bench. side, but there's only three on the other side, right? Mm. Okay, whatever. Seven, eight if you count. The, the room of requirements. That was one of the questions. Um... So, Dammy got to pick one of the prizes, and you got... I got a little Dobby Pop vinyl. Look at him. He's so cute. Dobby is a free elf. He's got his big ears, and he's got a sock. Dobby is a free elf. He doesn't have a stand, though, like my other Pop vinyl, which is Rory Gilmore, but it's okay, because he has flat feet, so he stands up. So, where is he living in your room? He's living next to Rory. Uh, I need to rearrange that shelf because it's getting very crowded. Is this one of the shelves that's part of your closet? Yes. Okay. So that was a lot of fun to do that. Um, I was very, very tired by the end of it because we had um, we had church and then we had a baby shower after church. Um, and all the stuff that you all saw me knit for baby Toby, I gifted it to the family and they were very excited and it was a lovely time together with friends celebrating baby Toby. So, all right. Do you have anything else that you want to, that we need to talk about in yummies? Pink. What about pink? Pink Pearl the podcast for our 300th episode. She's awesome. I don't I'm think gonna, she's going to come over here though. I'm going to get her. Oh, okay. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get you. Ooh. Ah, that was my joints. That was your joints. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, are you telling them? Oh. Are you Pink Pro the Podcat? Pink Pro the Podcat. Got water in her tags. Can you say 300 episodes? Mom. Can you say you're excited? Look, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Hi. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh. 300! Yay! Yay! She's like, let me down, Dammy. Yay, 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 yay. Dammy, I want down. Yay! See, she yay. wants down. You went down, baby. You went down. Oh, she likes her pets. Oh. Yay. Let's talk about the next thing while I've got her. Let's talk about hashtag GGK Crafty Pad. What is it, Dammy? It stands for Geeky Girls Knit Crafty Photo A Day Challenge. We have a list of photo prompts for each month. So you take a look at the prompt for that day, take a picture related to it, and post anywhere you like. But we pick our favorites from Instagram. And we released the July list this yes, week. We did. Yeah. Um, yes. so, um, Dammy, what are we about to show them? Two photos from us that we liked and five photos from other people that we liked. Did Pink like them? Did you like them? There were some kitties and a turtle and a t oh no, not yet, not yet, hold on. Yes, she did like them. Okay, good. Well, what are, we already asked you what you were going to show them, so let's, let, let's show you. <laughs> So those were our favorite photos. Great job, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never too late to join in. You take a look at the prompts for the day. Which is, is up. Up. Moving on up to the 300s. So I put my hands up. We're playing my song. The seams on the sweatshirt are in a weird place. Yeah. How do I screenshot this? <laughs> you don't. Oh, how about how about you put your arm hands up again uh, and I'll take a photo. Fine. Put my hands up. There we go. That can be my photo for today. So you take a picture related to the prompt, however you want to interpret it. 
Pink wants to interpret it with jingles. Jingle, jingle. Um, That's how she speaks. You post it on Instagram, make sure in the caption you use hashtag GGK Crafty Pad because that's how we find your photos. If you have a private account on Instagram and you are participating in GGK Crafty Pad, you need to make sure that Dammy, Dammy's Doodles, is following you because otherwise she cannot see your photos when she starts sorting through them. Yep. Okay? Um, and yours might get chosen to be featured. Um, the only upcoming event that I know of is... I'm Four thinking- months from now. Well, almost three months from now. Yep. I'm taking an English paper piecing 101 class in October, the day before your birthday. Oh, What uh, a way to celebrate. I know. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing. What, I don't know. We're cutting. We're moving things. I don't know. Let's move on to the next segment. Now we're going to talk about what we are reading, watching, and listening to. Yes. So what are you reading? I am reading Emma by Jane Austen, which I do every summer. I'm at Box Hill. Box. The book I'm reading right now I'm going to talk about in a few minutes was referencing Emma. Jane Austen and ah. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. I'll I prefer you. Mr. Knightley. I'll tell you. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Yeah, so it's nice. And then reading it, rereading that for like the fiftieth time. Okay. And I'm also reading *The Glass Scientist*, which is a web comic by Sabrina Katungo. Awesome. Are you getting your fifteen minutes in a day? Yeah. What am I referencing? The April, May, June round. Which Read is coming. Along. It's coming to an end. Um. So and we are. Read it. And I will get, I think I have it on my calendar for tomorrow to um, put up the chatter and finish line thread for the July, August, September read along. So uh, if you're participating in the April, May, June one, you need to have all of your stuff posted by Saturday, the 30th of June. Because I will lock the thread the morning of Sunday, the 1st of July. Yep. Um, and we'll announce prize winners next week. For the... And it's going to be the same for the July, August, September read-along. Um, I don't know how many days there are. 30th of September. I don't know how many days are in July, August, September. Hold on. No. Oh. Uh, this is not the time to do math. I know. I'm sorry. So there's 31... 31, that's 62, and 30, 92. that's 92. So, but you, do you want to just keep with the same numbers sure. of days? So if you complete, if you read 15 minutes a day, and you complete 88 of the 92 days, you'll be entered into one or more giveaways for one of our ebooks. You'll get a 20% off a single pattern coupon code from us, and you'll get an 88 plus day virtual relong badge. Um, if you finish 61 of the 92 days, you'll get be entered into one or more giveaways for any one of our single patterns, and you'll get a 61 plus days virtual badge. And the hashtag, if you want to talk about this on social media, is hashtag GGKRAL18. Wow. So um, if you have any questions, you can post those in the chatter thread or PMS. Mm-hmm. But um, I will get the, the new read-along chatter and finish line thread posted. I think tomorrow is Thursday is when I'm is on my calendar to do that. Okay. Um, I finished reading a couple of nonfiction books this week. Um, both of them about empty nest. Um, the first one is from mom to me again, how I survived my first empty nest year and reinvented the rest of my life by Melissa Schultz. It was uh, okay. The other one I read was Release My Grip, Hope for a Parent's Heart as Kids Leave the Nest and Learn to Fly by Cami Gilmore. Um, this one was a really fast read because I didn't do all the journaling. Like there were journaling pages and prompts uh-huh. th- through it. 
But each of the... But Mama, you love to journal. I know, but I was just trying to read through the, the book because I it was an interlibrary loan, so I had to get it back to them. Um, each chapter of this one was like set on a specific topic like oh the day that you drop your kid off at college and things like that and they were more like blog post entries type of things so it was it was the better of the the two that i read this week so the new nonfiction book i'm reading that i am absolutely adoring is called anne of green gables my daughter and me what my favorite book taught me about grace belonging and the orphan in us all by Laura Lee Cracker. 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 There's no extra C. So, Cracker. Lori Lee and her daughter are both adopted. And the kind of premise of this book started when her daughter, when they were reading Anne of Green Gables together, she and her daughter, and her daughter asked what an orphan is. And so that's kind of how this started. So she kind of each chapter she kind of like talks about a portion of the Anna Green Gables book she also references quite often the the first two movies miniseries however you want to call it of Anna Green Gables with Megan Follows and um, jo Jonathan Crombie in them the ones after that are not good they have nothing to do with the book um so, and I mean, I adore Anna Green Gables, and so, like, one of the chapters I was reading last night was about um, friendship and best friends and bosom friends and kindred spirits, um, but she's kind of weaving through her experience, her daughter's experience, Anne's experience, and Lucy Maud Montgomery's experience, um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So... Um, And, oh, this is the one I was talking about that referenced uh, Mr. Darcy. Oh. And it also referenced from Aunt, um, Little House on the Prairie, um, Alfon Al Alonzo, Alonzo, I don't remember what his last name is, that she was talking about, one of the chapters I was reading last night was talking about, like, this, the, the, the men that we are like, oh my gosh because Gilbert and and yeah that's what I was referencing all ago. sorry I kind of lost my train of thought there um I'm continuing to reread Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's slash Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling and listening to Harry Potter and the Sacred <laughs> Text podcast through that and I'm reading more in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss I finished reading book three and I'm reading book four book four is over 600 pages wow so I'll finish it in like two days no, I've been reading it for more than two days. It's one that's a little more in depth. I can't read it quite as fast as I do other non uh, other fiction books, but I'm enjoying it. But it makes me laugh every time that she talks about her sword named Damaris because it's spelled your way even. So, um, so that's everything that I am reading. What are we watching? I watched three Hallmark movies this week. I watched Love at First Dance. Um, I watched Haley Dean Mysteries: A Will to Kill. And I was so right about what they were doing with Chad Lowe. <sighs> Spoiler. He's a bad guy. Oh, no. But it was fun to see Kelly... Kelly Martin? Is that her name? Uh, and Chad Lowe back together again after so many years since they were in Life Goes On together. And then the other one I watched was Wedding March 4. Something old, something new. And the daughter's engaged now, so I guess we're going to have Wedding March 5. Whatever they're going to call it. Um, do you want to talk about the next thing? Sure, we're watching season one of Timeless. We watched The Alamo. Remember The Alamo? The Alamo. I haven't been there. I have. Mm-hmm. What was the one before? went without me. What was the one before that we watched? Was it Ian Fleming? Fleming. Ian yes. Fleming. Yes. And then was it also... <clears throat> no. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the, that we're enjoying that. Um, yesterday, I binged watch the entire series four of Shetland. Mm -hmm. That was It was six episodes. Yeah. So, I mean... Um, and I had my suspicions from the get-go. 
and it was right. So, um, but I did find out it's been renewed for Series 5. Because I didn't know that it had been renewed for Series 4. I thought Series 3 was the end of it. And then somehow something happened and I was like, oh. And so, I, that. Um, I'm watching Series 4 of Dark. I watched two episodes. One, Ross beat George in the election. And Hugh died with Demelza by his bedside. So sad. Um, a guy that was interested in Demelza, but Demelza's married to Ross. It's all a lot of drama. And then so now George is trying to buy a seat in the election because he, he lost. wants a seat. Just go to a furniture store. Caroline had a baby girl. Very, very cute. But it feels like Dwight thinks that something's wrong with the baby. They, Dwight. Dwight is Carolyn's husband. Uh, and he's also a doctor. The doctor. Oh, okay. I was like, they were like, you kind have of, credentials to think something's wrong with the baby? Yes, he's a doctor. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. I was like, what are they trying? I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Credentials. So there's that. Um, I'm watching season four of The Good Witch. They found, oh, there was two episodes of this too. They found Elizabeth Merriwick's dress so that she can wear the dress for the wedding. Wow. Uh, Abigail's love interest decided not to stay in Middleton. It was very sad. I felt very disappointed for her, even though she's a pain sometimes. <laughs> She could be really snarky and troublesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, can and I? Yes. Sometimes. Well, I can too. Thanks. And she's kind of snarky. Okay. So this is like totally off subject, but kind of not. So the hubs last night sent me about the, a book that he wanted me to, that he thought I might be interested in reading. And there was like an interview article with the woman who wrote the book a, kind of about the book and I read it and I texted him back and I was like I'm very interested in this she seems very snarky which I like because I'm snarky so there you go um, and then there was also the they did made a wish quilt so they each made a square and it's a quilt for them that, as they're getting married and it, it was very sweet do you want to talk about the next thing oh I'm calling you season three you misspelled bussing I don't know how you spell bussing it's just two s's b-u-s-s it, it looked wrong to me. People out of Seattle, too. To where? To where. I thought that said seven. I was like, what is seven? No, to where? Question he's, mark. And Snyder's in Seattle trying to figure out what is going on. And he's, like, talking to someone he doesn't want other people to know about. But what's going on with him? Is he double agent, triple agent, quadruple agent? Who knows? And Will really wants to kill Snyder. Yeah. Because he's blaming Snyder for Charlie's death. I mean, I think Snyder also blames himself for Charlie's death. But he's, he, like, he hides that. He hides all of that. He does. He does. He, he, yeah. He's, he's trouble. Um, I'm watching <laughs> series three of Humans. Agnes set off a suicide bomb. Um, Maddie is pregnant with Leo's baby, and Lauren walked out on her family after being forced by Anatole to choose a human, not Lauren, Laura. I don't know why it changed it. Laura. She walked out on her family after being forced by Anatole to choose a human or a synth's life. It was very emotional. Dramatic. And Dramatic. She, yeah. So, I think, I think there's only one more episode in series three. Oh, no. One or two. So it's coming to a close for now. I don't know if it's been renewed. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. What What else are we watching, Tammy? Um, we're watching season six of Elementary. This week's episode had an actor I'm not really an enormous fan of in it, so I sort of didn't pay attention during his parts. But at the end of the episode, Lu uh, Lucy, Sherlock and Joan found out that Mycroft had died two months earlier from complications with his leukemia. And that's, that's a sad face. Yeah. Like, Mycroft was a pain, kind of. Yes. He was kind of a jerk. But he's dead. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I didn't talk about it because I kind of just, like, glossed over the fact that I watched all of Series 4 of Shetland. <laughs> but... There were sheep. Yes, there's always sheep in Shetland. Bah! But, so, the, the main... <laughs> 
guest character um, for the whole series four. The recurring character. Was the supporting character. Was he's from Outlander. Ooh. And it was like the, this whole thing. He had been in jail for like twenty three years mm-hmm. for a crime, and he said he didn't commit. Did he? He didn't do it. No. <gasps> Spoiler. Oh no! But at the end, he's in a interrogation room to like give a statement about something that happened, and Motor. while while the all the police and everybody are out of the room he had a heart attack and died in the room after being after they discovered that he was innocent oh no i was like no 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 you're not good no so he i mean he they had just figured out he was innocent and then he had a heart attack and died oh i know it was so sad i was like seriously you're ending it this way I know. It was very emotional. Um, sorry. I don't know why. I, I that like, way does, how does that connect to Mycroft? Because Mycroft died. Oh. So. Um, watch. Uh, listening. I've been listening <laughs> to Sarah, the Sarah Bareilles playlist that you made for me. Um, I, am, I am completely caught up with my favorite murder podcast. I have listened oh, no. to all the episodes. Oh, no. So now I have to be like a normal podcast listener and wait for new episodes to come out. Isn't that the worst? It is. <laughs> I mean, like, I listened, I think there was like 200 episodes that I listened to. And they're all fun. So. So now I don't know what I'm going to listen to. Something. Uh, what about you? Are you listening to anything that's not in the show notes? Just doing them Spotify playlists. Okay. Alrighty, well, that sounds good. Um, okay, well, this has been a very random segment because I don't know. So uh, l- let's just give in and go to the next one. And now we're going to talk about our June, July, August. Summertime and the living is easy. Ew. Oh, that's new. It's jazzy. So this started on the 1st of June and runs through the 31st of August. Are you going to give background music while I talk about it? Oh, yeah. It's for any project you need to say where you've spin. That you can relate to summer. It's easy. How easy is it? As one, two, three. What's their fallback? Don't frame me. What's the fallback? You made it in the summer when the lemon is easy. Yeah. But. Oh, we're, we're done singing now. I, no whips are allowed. No, we ended it on a nice note. We fin- we're finished singing now. No whips are allowed. You have to start your project the first of June or later and finish it by the 31st of August. Um, okay. In the FO thread. Every project that you finish and post is one entry into the giveaways, unless the project does not use at least 20 yards, 18.3 meters of yarn. If that's the case, you need to group that item with other items to make at least a total of 20 yards, 18.3 meters. Post those all in one post in the FO thread, and that post is one entry into the giveaway. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, feel free to poly dip in other owls as long as it meets the rules. We have lots of lovely prizes on the screen right now. If uh, you'd like to know more about them, you can go to geekygirlsknit.com or Pink will come tell you about them. She will. Um, there there are larger photos, there are links, Ooh. all kinds of stuff. Um, a big thank you to everyone who has donated prizes. Look she, at her. She's, she's curling up. The, she's on the table. I know. Did you see that big stretch? That big. Mm hmm. Ooh. She's not allowed on the table, but she does this thing where she lays on the ottoman and part of her is on the table. We're just like, okay, whatever. Fine. Yeah. Um, so thank you to everyone who donated prizes. Uh, if you'd like to donate a prize, you can PM me, Java Pearl, or email us at geekygirlsknit at gmail.com. And we'll talk about the prizes more in detail next week for them on the first podcast of the month. Yep. 
Um, you must be a member of the Geeky Girls Knit podcast group on Ravelry to participate. Social media hashtag is hashtag GGK Summertime 18. We will lock the FO thread the morning of September 1st, and winners will draw on the next podcast after that. Uh, if you are a prize winner, you'll have 30 days to claim your prize or you forfeit it. There's a chatter thread in the Ravelry group where you can talk about what you're working on, and Dammy gives a shout out to everyone who finishes projects there, as well as here on the podcast. So, Dammy, why don't you give some shout outs? All right. Angie's Hip, A Simple Homestead, Bead Weasel, D Door 4, DG White, Falling Star 12, Fun Friend, Hazy Summers, I Knit Socks 2, Inky Minky 184, Joe Dadaya, Knit Central, Knit Live Love, Knit and Kitten 2, Lil Angel SG2, Lil Emma Call, Lil Mermaid, Mama Mia 64, My Rain Shadow, Mystery Sewer, Rust Strauss, Stitch by Moonlight, and VT Kimmy Kim. Great job, everybody. So keep working on those projects. You have a couple of months to get them finished, and uh, you might win a prize. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Ask the Geeky Girls, the part of our show where you ask us things, and we try to answer them. Yes. So what is this week's question? This week's question is from Rebecca, who is Russ Strauss from Michigan. What, <laughs> what is the wooden foot-shaped thingy, she wrote thingy, mm-hmm. you use to measure husbands, your husband's birthday socks, the hubs, yes. not other husbands? Only oh, mine. Well, Jeremy's. He, My best friend's Jerry's. husband. I do measure his. Too, <laughs> He's yes. a husband. He's just not yours. How is it used? Perhaps I should add, I usually do top-down socks. Well, you can still use this. So this... It's, it's a Socksies. Sockies. I call it Socksies because it's cute. Um, so I got this off Etsy. I think they have their own website now. Um, so one side is in inches. The other side is in centimeters. centimeters. And she does like you and you can also have it personalized right there or where is it no right here java pearl designs on it pearl designs. um so she's got like baby shoe sizes little ones big kids hers and his shoe sizes so i knit primarily toe up socks but you could still use this for um for cuff down to kind of measure so what you do is you stick the wooden foot into your knitting foot Okay. And bada bing, bada bang. So, Dammy obviously has already started the, done the heel and everything. But what I do is, so I know for Dammy, if I'm knitting socks for her, I need to go to six and a half inches before I start the heel. So I stick the sock in, and when I get to six and a half inches, which is back yeah. down there. Yeah, it, I made it a little longer. First. Well, for mine, I do six and three quarter inches. I've been making mine longer because they've been sort of like shrinking. Okay, so I do six and three quarter inches usually. Um, for the hubs, I do so many eight and a half inches before I do the heel. For Jeremy, I do ten and a half inches. Um, Almost to the end. I know, I know. <laughs> um, so put it in there, measure, and um, and it's easy as that. So, but you the way you could use it for mm. for your top down is to stick it in the thing so and make the top of your cuff like right here and say you know you want to make your your cuff plus leg to be seven inches before you start the heel you could stick it in and this is the top of the cuff and put it in and be like okay i need to do like i need to do like one more row and i'll be at seven inches does that make sense so, um, and then, of course, again, on the back is you the... You can use the centimeters. It's centimeters, and it's got a hole, so I can hang it up if I want to. I don't. It goes in my basket. You used to have it as a keychain, and it was really obnoxious. You know, like, not as a keychain on your key. Is you have, like, a little... You have a carabiner with knitting supplies on it. This was never on the carabiner. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, I thought it was. No, it was not. Well, um, So, yeah, I will... Uh, um, Oh, it's the company it says is Burning Impressions. I will, I will look it up and link it in the show notes. But that is how you use it. There are also um, plastic ones that are called, I think, the sock ruler that Oops. I used to have. Bend. That's why I stopped using it and got a wood one is because it was bending so this, much. This is not plastic. It's, it's not, not going to kill a whale. It's wood. Um, 
but yeah, so it's the same concept as the plastic ones that are, I think they're called the sock ruler. Um, so yeah, so that is how I use this. Um, I like it because I don't have to like hold down the tape measure and try to measure. I can just stick it in and be like, stick okay, it straighten it out, put it on there. Okay, well, I'm almost to seven inches. I'm gonna measure my foot with it. You're Boom. doing it the wrong way. I know. Wow, look at that. You're like eight and a half inches. I know. I've got such a big foot. You don't have a big foot. That's average. <laughs> shoe size in, in the U.S., shoe size average for women is between eight and nine. I know. I wear between eight and a half and nine. You wear between... You're so average. I know. You wear... I, I wear eight, eight or eight and, and a half. It d some eight and a halfs are bigger than others. So yes. it depends. My, Which is weird. I'm glad I don't mm. didn't get my mom's feet because I can't remember what size she wears, but her feet are extremely narrow. Oh no, no. they're quad A. Teeny. Yeah, so it's hard for her to find shoes. Anyway, we're done talking about feet. So, so that is that is how you use this. I'll put a link in the show notes for you to get your own. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for the question. And that's so funny. My mom's name is Rebecca. Becky. But we call her Becky. Well, she, she goes by. I don't call her Becky. I call her Mama. Becky Jean. What do you call her? Becky Jean. No, you don't. <laughs> Billy Jean. Is not my lover. Billy Jean is not my lover. You, she calls her B Ma. Yeah. Um, Mama. This episode is like, I don't know. <laughs> I promise we didn't like drink extra coffee before we started recording or anything. We haven't had cake. We haven't had sugar. <laughs> Hey, it's our 300th episode. We have to celebrate. Well, you're going to get us something to celebrate. Yeah, but, but we'll, it's not cake. But no, we'll have cake for our, th for our sixth pot of grocery. Oh, that's far away. That's like a month. It'll I be, don't want to wait a month. It's like two months. I don't want to wait two months for cake. It's at the end. Or of, brownies. Or it's at the end of August. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookie muffin tops. It'll be, it'll be before you leave for school, so that's awesome. So... So if somebody has a question like Rebecca did, um, what should they do? Go to our Ask the Geeky Girl thread in our Ravelry group and post it. That's right. All right. Uh, and we answer them in order unless it's something that's time sensitive. So there you go. All right. Let's move on to the next segment. We made it to the end of the 300th episode. Yay. Yes. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to cut this right here, and we're going to put in a conversation that we ended up having after Gigi and Crafty <laughs> Pad about Dammy going to school and changing the recording schedule. And I don't really want to know why we recorded it there, because I don't know it popped in my head. It just started talking. Okay, so we're going to cut this right here and put that in, and then we'll be right back. So we didn't talk about, briefly we'll just talk about that you registered for classes yes. at university on Friday. And we are going to have to change our recording schedule because of that. So what we're tentatively looking at is recording on Thursday with the podcast going live on Fridays. Friday. So we're going to looking at shifting Friday. it a day, uh, at least for the autumn term, autumn quarter. Autumn um, quarter. Oh, quarter. Ho, ho. So, oh, ho, ho. Uh, I mean, we may have to change every quarter depending on your class schedule. Mm -hmm. So... I don't have any ridiculously early classes, though. That is very positive. My earliest class is at, I think it's nine, nine. Yeah. which is awesome, because I have enough time to wake up and be presentable. Yes. For <laughs> so, that's what we're, so, the week you move into the dorm, we're probably going to record on the Monday, so it'll go live Tuesday, or on the Tuesday for it to go live Wednesday. And then, but not do on the Friday and just go to the next week, because that would be two episodes yeah. in one week. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 because you'll be in orientation. And we'll, oh, yeah. we'll be at parents' orientation on the Thursday. Oh, wow. On our anniversary. Oh, gosh. On our 21st anniversary. Sorry. I'll buy you dinner. Thank you. <laughs> um... Yeah, so then move it to that, and then do so do it early in the week that week, and the, that's the middle of September, and then do it the next week, start on Thursday, with the caveat that once you get started with classes, there we may, I mean, it may not totally work that at that time. There might be something come up that so for it not to work at that time. So just be patient with us, stay tuned. We will update you as soon as we know anything. But that is what we're looking at right now is. 
the Thursday, to record on Thursday and it go live on Fridays. Friday. Okay. Um, and we still need to test our, yeah. our recording setup. But we will do that. So stay tuned. Oh no, you'll have to drive me to Starbucks. So we can do it tomorrow. Because I get cold. Yeah. Maybe yeah. We might do that. We might do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, okay. Yeah. So we're going to work on that and get that figured out so that, so that um, it all works out for the good of those of us. Of the world. That record and those of you that watch. So. And those of me that go to school. That is right. Okay. So, sorry, I, 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 that was in my head that we needed to talk about. I guess we should have waited until the, at the end of the show. Maybe we'll cut this and put it at the end of the oh, show. Oh, but why? It's so fun. Um, I don't know, because it's like an announcement. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we're and back. And we're back. Time travel. We love it. And we're back. And we're back. Tammy, do you have anything that you want to tell us? I love my cat. So Breaking news. So controversial. What are we going to do? Why edit? would you say something so dear? So controversial. Um, so, um, another announcement starting next week and running all the way through July and August. I'm going to be doing a weekly webinar about essential oils. Wow. Um, I'll be doing some essential oil 101 classes. I'll be doing one about natural, I'll be doing natural solutions. I'll be doing bullet journaling and natural solutions together, uh, back to school. So there's quite a few different ones. So just watch social media for announcement of those just classes. Social media. Um, Cleanse it. or you can go to oils with cc.com and sign up for the newsletter there. And that will notify you when, when I have dates and times set in stone for that. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, okay, I think that's everything, Dammy. So we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the podcast, however you do it, because you know what? We're at 300 episodes, and we would not be able to do it without y'all. Yeah. You're awesome. So, um, especially big thank you to those of you who support us financially, because it does cost money to do the podcast. So uh, there are three main ways that you can support the podcast financially. The first is Patreon, which is a site where you pledge a certain amount a month to your favorite creative, and you get rewards based on what level you donate at. Yeah. Um, Dammy, if somebody is interested in finding out more or wants to sign up for that, they can go to patreon.com slash geekygirlsnet. That's right. What's another way? There's a PayPal button in the sidebar of our website if you would like to make a one-time donation. And we are amazon.com.co.uk and .ca affiliates. If you're going to shop on Amazon, if you go through our website first, we earn a little bit of money based on what you purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And it's a great way to support the podcast by doing something you would be doing anyway. Um... Dammy, why don't you tell them where they can find us online? You can find us at geekygirlsnet.com. There are their links to everywhere else we are online. YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. That's right. And with that, we're going to tell you goodbye. Thank you all so much for being with us for 300 episodes. Um, I know there's people who've been with us since the very first episode, or people who've gone back and watched all the episodes. Um, yeah. Or maybe this is Yikes. your very first episode with us. Um, thank you for joining with us for the Geeky Girls Knit Podcast. It's been an amazing journey and one we hope to continue for now, for 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 the immediate future. So, um, yeah. So, happy 300 to y'all as well. Uh, make sure and take your photo and post it on Instagram about how you are celebrating the 300th episode with us. And you might be a prize winner. We'll announce those winners next week. And until then, happy knitting, happy 300, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh. Well, we're trying to record. There's a bird outside. Can't tell if it's coming from this way 
or this way. If it's coming from this way, Pink is probably dying because she's in my window. I think it's coming from this way. Oh my gosh. This bird wants to be part of our 300th episode. Shut up! <laughs> okay. Are you a knitter? No. No. Crocheter? No. Weaver? Spinner. Oh, definitely not a spinner. Are you done? No. <laughs> I'm just going to close the door. Are you done? Well, it's getting further away. Go away! Okay, maybe? You try talking. Are you done? Okay, we can record now, maybe. <laughs> Are you done? Just, just a little tiny chirpy bird. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like the big bird is harassing the little tiny chirpy bird. Oh dear. Poor little chirpy bird. <laughs> oh no. They're fighting back. They're like, watch us go. We are gonna band together. We're a band of birds. And we are going to overpower the annoying bird. Oh, you hear that? That's fine, that's cute. Oh my god. Come on, little birds, you can do it. <laughs> you know what's gonna be really, really funny is if like I put this at the end of the podcast and they can't hear any of the birds. Surely they can hear them. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're gonna try. With little birds, it's okay.